What up YouTube, it's Rules for Rebels here, and today we're taking another look at TerraPeak. Uh, for those of you who don't know, TerraPeak is an analytic tool used to pull uh, eBay sales data. Uh, so you can find out how, you know, how well something sells, how much of it sells in a week, how many listings there are, the best keywords to use, who your competition is, and there's a plethora of other tools such as, uh, they've actually just recently kind of redesigned the dashboard. Uh, they've added some new features. As you can see, there's a uh, SEO tab. Actually, I don't know if you can see on the screen now, but there's an SEO tab above. Um, but there's all types of tools. You know, you can do hot research where you can look at categories and see what hot selling categories are. Uh, you can find products, you can find sources for products. There's a ton of stuff you can do with this. If anybody's interested in trying this out, there is a seven day free trial. I'll link to it in the description box below. But in today's video, what I wanted to show you guys was this new tab called SEO. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna bring you up to here. So we just pulled up open the SEO tab. So let's say I'm, I'm gonna search for, we'll say baby teether. So we put in, it's gonna separate those keywords. We're gonna put that in, we're gonna pull a search. As you can see, it's searching right now. So they're gonna give us ideas of other keywords that, uh, that we A, may wanna use in our listing, or B, which may help us in sourcing products that people are searching for. So uh, when we pull baby teether, uh, some other popular uh, keywords that people are searching for or of popular products being sold are teething, silicone for silicone baby teethers, toy, Sophie, I'm guessing that's a popular character. Uh, necklace, uh, they make these, uh, they call them nursing necklaces, where it's basically like a necklace with a teething ring on it for the baby to play with. Giraffe, I know that's a popular uh, baby teether. Oh, you know what? Vuli, Sophie the giraffe. So this is a particular uh, teething ring. Vully, I'm guessing that's a brand. New, nursing, again, nursing necklace. Jewelry, that would, again would be nursing necklace. Soft would probably be like silicone or uh, some people make like pacifiers connected to a stuffed animal. Uh, not sure what law is, rubber, uh, natural, uh, wooden baby teethers are really popular, at the very least uh, natural materials with no BPAs, uh, infant, toys, pacifier, chew, um, and here we can see some of the most popular products being sold. So as you can see, the Sophie the Draft is really popular. Um, these are actually little like toothbrushes. Um, I've seen some people market them as baby teething rings. I've seen other people market them as toothbrushes. Uh, but as you can see, these uh, corn toothbrushes and the Sophie the Drafts really seem to be popular. Um, I'm not sure what happens if we click like, let me see here. Oh, so that would just add another keyword. So let's go back here. Um, let's try this for a few other terms. Uh, let's see. Uh, I always kind of fall back on the same products. We'll, we'll say, uh, silicone spoon and basically here I, I just want to, want to kind of show you what this tool is and how it can be valuable um, in crafting your eBay listing so if you're selling a silicone spoon there's probably other keywords you want to include in your listing um, and you may not know what those are sure you can sit there and think about okay spoon cooking kitchen but you really don't know what's popular so uh, let's see if we search silicone spoon we get spatula cooking, kitchen, new utensil, uh, heat resistant, you know, see these are all, you know, obviously don't put any a keyword into your listing if it's not relevant. You know, if, if your spoon is not heat resistant, don't put the words heat resistant. But if your spoon is, that's obviously a term people are searching for. Utensils set would be like a set of spoons and spatulas. Uh, steel for stainless steel. Uh, I'm guessing stainless steel with like a silicone end to it. Uh, slotted would be, uh, let's see if we have, we don't have an example, basically if there were slots through this for liquid to drain through, that would be a slotted spoon. Mixing, baking, spatulas, tool, and design. Um, so here's some of the popular uh, listings up there. Um, so again, I may uh, do some additional research polls on some of these terms here, but basically I just want to give you, kind of show off this new, this is actually a new category. You could pull kind of similar data with the old TerraPeak, um, however, now they have a category specifically for SEO. So uh, I'm not going to make this video run too long, but we'll, we'll search a couple more terms here. And again, like I said, you guys can do this yourself. They have a seven day free trial. I think any serious eBay or Amazon seller would get a lot of value out of TerraPeak. So, you know, I'm signed up for it. I would recommend people sign up for it. But at the very least, if you have a consistent line of products you sell, sign up for the week long trial, pull some data and then cancel after that but at least you got your data. Uh, I'm gonna pull a few more search terms here and then we're gonna wrap it up and call it a day, but let's search paracord bracelet. That's one of my kind of go-to products that I, I mentioned in a lot of these demonstrations. So uh, let's see, paracord bracelet, survival, obviously you know it's a survival item. Uh, flint, a lot of these paracord bracelets have 
uh, flint fire starters in them, fire starter, outdoor gear. Scraper is an interesting one. I would never thought of that. 550 refers to 550 paracord. Uh, some people do what's called bundling, and bundling would be instead of just selling a paracord bracelet and competing with everybody else, just selling paracord bracelets, I might uh, pair up or make a bundle of a paracord bracelet, a compass, and a folding knife and sell that as like a survival pack or a kit. So I think that's what kit refers to. Uh, buckle would refer to this buckle, how they're clasped. Uh, compass, rope, camping, black, with kit for, you know. So try to include all these uh, keywords in your listings. We'll, we'll pull a couple more terms and then we'll, we'll call it a wrap here. Uh, I'm curious what, what comes up if we search hoverboard. Self-balancing scooter, scooter, you know, that makes sense. Uh, two refers to them. And, uh, you know, I kind of like, I, I just kind of noticing this, but they also kind of give you some direction in terms of what the keyword is referenced to. So, uh, you know, if I just saw the number two, well, what the, what the heck does two mean? If somebody's selling two hoverboards, um, but, you know, the number of wheels, it's a two-wheel self-balancing scooter. Electric, unicycle, that's a completely different thing. That's an electric unicycle. It's one wheel. Wheels, uh, smart. Some people call these a smart balance scooter. Uh, new, you know, refers to the condition. Bluetooth is a feature. Some of these have Bluetooth and play music. Um, black would be the color. Uh, eight inch would be the tire size. So, you know, this is kind of cool how they tell us what the feature is. So if you don't really know um, the context of, of that keyword or that word in the listings. And here we see self-balancing scooters. And, you know, let's pull one more. We'll do, uh, let's type in yoga. Now this, in addition to finding keywords to use in your listings, this can also help us find products. So when we search keyword yoga, what are the most popular things being sold? Well, yoga pants are really popular, so I may want to look into uh, to selling yoga pants. So, you know, we can look at this as a way to generate new keywords and have better eBay SEO and show up higher in eBay searches, or we can use this tool to find other products that we could possibly sell. So yoga fitness, that doesn't really give us any direction. Yoga stretch, that would probably be yoga pants or yoga shirts. Uh, leggings, you know, another popular uh, item, workout, doesn't really give us direction, soft sport, athletic. Yoga pad would probably be similar to a yoga mat. Um, so you know, yoga mats are obviously popular. Uh, running, sports, lounge, eh, I'm not really crazy. Let's see if we search yoga block, yoga block. Okay, so here's some of the products, you know, yoga blocks, something people use for like stretches and things like that. Uh, foam, brick, exercise, fitness, gym, foam, you know. So this here, well, you know what? Here kind of gives us an idea, Pilates. So apparently, you know, Pilates people also use these yoga blocks. So we may want to want to market our yoga block, not only to yoga people, but also to Pilates people. Um, health, aid. Okay, you know, I'm going to do one more poll. I'm trying to think of a product. Uh, Let's go to the Amazon hot sellers list. I'm just curious, to, uh, maybe we'll get some ideas from here. Let's look at home and kitchen, see what one of the uh, garden sprayer. Okay, so let's look at that. Garden sprayer. Summer's right around the corner. And, and see here, we're actually looking at like a, a hose nozzle. Um, whereas here, we're kind of more seeing uh, chemical sprayers and things. Uh, let's see, nozzle. Garden spray hose. Let's see here. Okay, so you see here we're back on a track of garden hose spray nozzles. And up here we have nozzle, water sprayer, flexible, 100 width. This is like, refers to how many feet they are. Uh, the water pressure that comes out of it. Watering, adjustable, patterns. Uh, I guess patterns would be whether you have a spray or like a laser. Um, feet, how far it sprays, uh, expanding, I would assume, you know, when the spray expands. But as you can see here, th this SEO tool can be used not only to find additional keywords to use in your listings that people are searching for, but also in addition to that, uh, it can be used to come up with all new products to search. And I'll show you one other way. A lot of you guys who watch my videos have probably already seen this, but let's go to product research and I'm going to do a poll on, on baby tea there. And we'll see how the keywords compare. I don't know if you guys remember the keywords that we pulled for baby tea there. There's also a way we can get keywords through here. So I've walked you guys through these reports before, so I'll save you the trouble of going through everything. But if we go down to here to keywords, uh, so you see we have some different keywords here than we had in the SEO search. We have, when it comes specifically to baby tea there's people are searching for toy, soft, that was in the, the poll before. Rattle is a new one. 
uh, toys, teething, silicone, infant, new, doll, the. So most of the keywords are the same. We did pick up a few new ones here, but here's two ways to uh, come up with uh, good popular uh, terms or keywords that buyers on eBay are searching for. Uh, again, the program we're using to pull this data is Terapeak. I will include a link in the description box below to where you can sign up for a free seven-day trial of Terapeak. Um, I love this program not only for my eBay selling, I also use the data I pull from here for my Amazon selling. And I'm also a member of the eBay Partner Network where I run affiliate ads. And I also find this helpful in getting hot keywords and knowing what products to promote uh, to make affiliate sales as well. So uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for more Terapeak videos. Terapeak just recently rolled out kind of a new dashboard and now has this new uh, SEO feature which we kind of started the video talking about. So I just wanted to show you guys kind of the new Terapeak dashboard as well as this new SEO feature. Uh, like I said, if you want, you can sign up for a free, free trial by clicking the link in the description box below and you can pull some, you know, pull some searches of your own, whether it's, you know, PlayStation that you want to search or whatever else. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any terms that you want searched, uh, feel free to message me and I'll make a video for you. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.